episode two, introducing inhibitors. Welcome back. In episode one, we met team clotting and learned what happens when the team is not working as it should. People with haemophilia A either lack factor VIII or have factor VIII that does not function properly. Without factor VIII, a clot cannot form properly and so bleeding continues. To overcome this, a replacement factor VIII treatment can be given. For team clotting, this is like asking a high jumper to take the place of our runner, so the competition continues and a clot is formed. However, antibodies, known as inhibitors, can form against replacement factor VIII treatments. These inhibitors recognize the replacement factor VIII as foreign and stop it from working. Inhibitors are like the competition officials who declare the high jumper's attempt invalid, interrupting the team's event. By interrupting the replacement factor VIII's jump, the team competition stops. This means factor 10 does not get the baton, fibrin cannot compete, and the crowd do not gather. Without the protein fibrin to bring together the platelets, a clot cannot form properly, and so bleeding continues. If inhibitors form to replacement factor VIII, other treatments can be taken to restore blood clotting. However, they vary in response and are associated with a high treatment burden. This is why the development of inhibitors against factor VIII replacement therapy is one of the greatest challenges in the treatment of haemophilia A today, putting patients at high risk for life-threatening bleeds and repeated bleeds that may cause long-term joint damage. New approaches are in development to overcome the issue of inhibitors. We'll tell you more about them and what they could mean for team plotting in the next episode. So stay tuned for episode three.